I work for the largest investment bank in the world. I have taken nine companies public. I am so glad that it's finally acceptable for women to talk about success. Are you still locking up drug dealers? I'm actually in white collar crime. You got a file on us? We have a file on everyone. And that was a clip from the new film Equity about a female investment banker played by Breaking Bad's Anna Gunn fighting to rise to the highest echelon of her competitive Wall Street firm. The film is billed as the first female-led film about Wall Street produced, directed, written, and starring women. Joining us now to discuss are the film's producers and co-stars, Sarah Megan Thomas and Alicia Reiner. Sarah and Alicia, thanks to both of you for being here. Of course. Great film. Congratulations. I'm curious how you conceived of the idea. Yeah, so I have a couple friends uh, who either work on Wall Street now or used to work on Wall Street, and they're women, and I have never seen them in any of the Wall Street movies that I love, and I thought, wouldn't this be a fantastic idea for a film to explore these amazing women? And how did you two get involved? We had known each other previously. We had worked together, and uh, Sarah came to me with the idea, and at first I was like... No. Um, it's such a misogynistic world. It is, it is not a world that speaks to my heart, per se. Mm -hmm. And then I, was, I started speaking to the women who work in this world and hearing about their inequities. Right. And I said, oh my god, we have to tell this story. And what if we could make this amazing thriller that's a stealth bomb social issue movie? Well, you know what I like about it so much, though, is that it, you know, it's a movie about women on Wall Street, but the, some of the female issues are sort of secondary. It's it's primarily a story about an investment banker who's you know fighting to get this IPO through, and the, the other characters around her. Did you purposely make the sort of the female issues like pregnancy and relationships sort of secondary? Totally. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and we really wanted you first and foremost to enjoy this film as a piece right. of entertainment and show a different side of Wall Street, which is the IPO world, the post-financial crisis world. Um, but then after you see the movie and you have your coffee or drink or whatever, then you talk about it and are like, huh, there are some female issues in there. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Oh, definitely. But they're they're dealt with so well because they don't drive the movie. Do you know what I mean? They're sort of secondary to the main and plot. That, that was a Exactly our goal. Also, you have women who are openly ambitious mm -hmm. and even greedy, for lack of a better word. So is that what I what I was left myself at the end and I thought, you know, greed, it can be shared by a woman as much as by a man, but is it necessarily good? That's what I'm not sure well, of. I, I think for me it, there's something very different in our film between that mantra of yeah. other Wall Street films right. of greed is good and don't let money be a dirty word. Yes. And yes. I think as women, Sarah likes to talk about how we, you know, we talk about sex more readily than we talk about money. And I think it really is important for us to look at our worth and look at, wow, it's okay to make money as a woman, which is very different yes. than greed. Yes, absolutely. To embrace money for money's sake. There's nothing wrong with liking money. Yeah. And to show complex female characters on screen, to have female characters that may or may not be likable at certain points in the film and may or may not be greedy at Absolutely. Yeah, so so yeah, let's talk about your individual characters. Sarah, let's start with yours because obviously she's a very ambitious woman yes. and makes some interesting decisions. Mm. What motivates her? Mm. Success. Right. Success. I think Erin comes from a generation where she thinks she can have it all. She really does. She's just married, pregnant, um, on the rise at work, and she starts to learn over the course of the film that life is more complicated and you have to make choices. Mm -hmm. And she struggles with that decision because she's so ambitious. Right. And there are no heroes in this film. Even, even your character who seems at the beginning very heroic. I wear the, the white hat. Either, right? You wear the white hat. I wanted to play different from Fig. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it was really interesting to me to explore this woman. And one of the most fun things was to be able to say from the very start, like, oh, I want to play a lawyer. I want to be married to a woman. I want to be married to a woman of color. I And I'm the producer. I can say that, yes, you know. Amazing. Um, and then in reference to like what brings her to her choices, her choices are really different, I think. She is a mom, she has two kids, she's married to an artist, mm -hmm. and she's the breadwinner of that family. She makes realistic choices. She Let's makes realistic choices. And I don't know, you know, 
once you see the film. <laughs> I, I don't know. Not to give anything away. Yeah, don't yeah, see yeah. the film. Right. I don't know where she's going next. And that's what we were really curious right. about, is to let it be a little open-ended so nobody quite knows what's going to happen yes, next. Yes, it is ambiguous. Because those are my end. favorite movies. Tell us about the process of getting this movie made. It's so exciting to see you know, a female-driven film like this get made and get the attention it's getting. What was the process like? Well, we were really lucky that we had a lot of women on Wall Street support us financially yeah. um, and write checks and help us make the movie we wanted to make. They gave us artistic license to hire whoever we wanted to hire. It was incredible. And Alicia and I just made it um, a mandate to hire a female director, female writer, more women in front of and behind the camera. That's and marvelous. You know, one fun tidbit about the fundraising was we did our own sort of road mm. show. You know, one of our investors, Candy Strait, basically threw all of these parties for us where we did a presentation similar to what you said. Right. Film. <laughs> and, you know, we Except did Except we had alcohol. <laughs> exactly, exactly, which was so much better. Um, and we, we really did PowerPoint presentations and we created a sizzle reel. And I think that was really important for them to see we weren't just actresses, we were business women. And what has the response been from women on Wall Street? We've been thrilled because yeah. we were actually a little nervous. <laughs> you just never know. And, and this is a complex film, but the women who work on Wall Street uh, really love this film, as do the men. Um, and I think they're very pleased that we're showing a more complex side of Wall Street and a more realistic side of Wall Street than I think we've seen before. Absolutely. I think what's been really exciting for me is that women of all ages really mm. relate to it and and are inspired, like young women are inspired mm -hmm. and older women recognize it and that men love this movie. Yeah. It's like that's yeah. been, you never know. And men are loving the film, which really makes me so well, happy. I'm not surprised. It's a fantastic film. Congratulations mm -hmm. again, Alicia Thank and Sarah. You. Thanks for coming to see sure. us. Thanks for having us. And that's your lunch break for today. I'm Tanya Rivero. Thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon.